Hi, hello, how have you been? I hope everything is fine. I hope everything is chill. Ah, <laughs> get it? Chill? Alright, alright. You already know what's going on. I'm drawing myself as the lo-fi girl. Cause what defines an artist better rather than narcissism? I mean, come on. If Will Smith can do it, why can't I? I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with the lo-fi girl and her streams that have been streaming on the YouTube channel Chilled Cow, which recently hit 5 million subscribers, so congratulations for them. Now there are many iterations of the lo-fi chill girl. There's the original, the day one, the night one, role reversal, live action adaptation, MS Paint, the drama, and of course, Valuigi. Yeah. <laughs> The original lo-fi girl comes from the Ghibli movie Whisper of the Heart, which I'm pretty sure is streaming on Netflix, I watched it a while ago. If you didn't know, the original artist that drew, that drew the chill girl that is streaming 24-7 on the Chill Cow channel, there's a lot of chi chills, it's like a tongue twister. You should try it. The original chill girl that is streaming on the Chill Cow channel <laughs> alright, alright, back to the topic. The original artist that drew the chill girl is Juan Pablo Machado. Or Machado. Another Che. How surprising. You should actually go check his portfolio out. The dude actually drew a bunch of really cool stuff, not only the chill girl. Alright, I could talk about the story girl for ages, but this is not the video about her, it's about me. I think we got the narcissistic part down already. Plus the YouTuber Elix did a great job at covering who the chill girl is and its history. So let's move on to the drawing. Oh, you almost saw my face there. Alright, I covered that up. Also, you, as you see, it's an, it's an actual picture that I took of my setup. So you could say that I cheated a little bit and I didn't do the sketch of myself on digital, I did it on paper, I didn't record it because it was a 3 in the morning type of night and I couldn't fall asleep so I just drew myself in my sketchbook and I took a, and it turned out pretty good so I took a picture of it and imported it into Photoshop and cropped it out so I wouldn't trace my actual self there so like I said I took a picture of myself and I traced the important parts just mainly all the hard surface edges like the table the tablet the monitor and the laptop so that i would get the right perspective down because otherwise i would i would have been doing this project for weeks this project if you're wondering took me let's say about a week on and off all the recorded footage i have is actually around eight hours and i didn't record all because I also animated myself. I didn't mention that yet. It's not just an illustration, I also animated myself. And that was a pretty long process, believe it or not. Animation takes a while. And without the recording, I worked on it... I don't know, I would say another 4 hours? 5 hours? i let you do the math. Alright, alright, I'm gonna tell you. It's 12 or 13 hours in total of work for this little animation project. As you can see there's a board behind me where I just post my drawings and my sketches. Behind me there are a bunch of posters of things that I love. There's the Powerpuff Girls <laughs> and the, the Amazing Fantasies first issue poster which is the first appearance of Spider-Man in comics. Also I just have a bunch of drawings on my board which are Deadpool, there's also a drawing that I made of Geralt, The Witcher, Adventure Time, of course The Last of Us, and also a portrait that I did of Rust from True Detective, a great, great show from the first season of True Detective. I think I can put a picture up of the original one. Here are all the drawings. I kind of cheated a little bit with the note. I put the note a bit above so that you could read. It's a bit of storytelling. It writes... Nico Raichia on Facebook, which um, 
I don't know if I should tell the story, but basically it's a note that my first crush wrote me. We used to talk and we all only talked in person. And one day for some reason we didn't meet, but she left me a note that she would write me on Facebook. It was a while ago, so Facebook was, was still a thing. And uh, that's basically the story. As you can see, I'm just coloring it in. I also added a foreground element, which is my pen holder, which has a lollipop. I weed lollipop a lit and <laughs> a pen thingy with Scooby-Doo's head, which looks a little bit creepy, but I love it. It's Scooby-Doo, I mean, I love Scooby-Doo. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of warm colors. Actually, my walls in my room are white, but I wanted to have a sunset vibe. So I used a bunch of warm colors, which in the end, they turned out a little bit too warm, but I color corrected the final video, so it doesn't look that bad. Also, as you can see, I have blinds, which are basically all the time in that position, so I don't really look outside. Basically, I never look outside. Only a couple of light streaks are entering my, <laughs> my room. Actually, as you can see, I have a semi-see-through curtain that catch these light streaks that are actually coming from a light pole outside of my house and I find that aesthetic as fuck. So I really wanted to capture that look. I don't have it in my reference picture, but I think I managed to nail down the final look. I would show you my face, but I realized that it looks terrible. You know when you see yourself every day in the mirror and you only see yourself from the same angle straight on but when someone takes a picture of you and we, or when you catch yourself from the profile view you realize that your nose is not even that cute it it's pretty horrible you don't have that perfect greek profile <laughs> your nose is way more uglier from the side than you might think and i realized that with this picture of myself that my nose is it's disgusting i'm so disgusted by myself it's way bigger than it should be and i'm not gonna let you see my reference picture but at least you see my drawing of myself which is pretty close I'm, i didn't shy away to draw the nose plus i didn't follow the reference i followed the sketch that i did earlier and as you can see i yeeted all my stuff into adobe animate and i started drawing myself again and filled in and filled in the sketch with the colors i used the background that i did in photoshop and redrew myself so that i can animate myself i would say that i did a frame by frame animation but technically i cheated because i took different parts of my hand and slightly changed it a little bit so that it would so that I wouldn't work a lot basically, because otherwise this would have taken me way more. If I would have done sketching from zero and everything from zero, it would have taken me way more time than I actually wanted to give myself for this project. And as you can see, I made myself blink so that it wouldn't seem that I'm a soulless little bastard and it adds a little bit more naturality, if that's even a word, to my animation. Also, I animated my resting hand stump because I usually, when I sit like that, I stroke my beard. It's it's just it just feels really nice. Okay, don't judge me. The most fun part was to draw the steam from the mug. If you didn't notice by now, I also animated. I also drew a mug in so that there would be more dynamic things happening in the final picture and it was so much fun to animate the steam from the mug because initially i didn't have any clue how i would do that but i think it turned out okay in the end you let me know i let it play at the end of the video also the shading it was pretty easy as i didn't use only two tones for the shadow basically just the basic color and another tone for the shadow and I, I only wear black, so I have a black shirt on, even though in the reference picture I have a red shirt on. That was a mistake, I don't know how that got in there, but I had a red shirt. Basically, it's the only colored item of clothing that I own. Alright, I'm slowly wrapping up the animation. There's no reason for you to watch the rest of it. I just want to let you know that if you're a producer or a song compiler, 
or writer or whatever, feel free to use this in one of your videos. Don't forget to tag me, of course. Don't forget to subscribe, please. I would appreciate it a lot and it would let me know that you want to see more of my content. Also, I have some socials down below. Feel free to follow me there. I might have my own compilation of one hour long chill songs to draw to. But I don't know if, I if I'm willing to go through the effort of finding all the chilled non-copyrighted music that I'm able to use in a one hour long or so stream. But yeah, for now I'll let you enjoy the final product with a chill song. So, have fun, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Chill, relax, everything's okay. Everything will be okay. Alright.